on behalf of 24HourAnswers.com, I welcome you to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to look at a related rates example that deals with the volume of a sphere. A spherical balloon is being filled with air at a rate of 4 cubic inches per second. At what rate is the radius changing in inches per minute when the diameter of the balloon is 15 inches? Round to the nearest tenth. We have a spherical shaped balloon and the air is being pumped in at a rate of 4 cubic inches per second. The formula for the volume of a sphere is volume equals 4 thirds power cubed. Using this formula to find related rates, we can go ahead and differentiate this formula with respect to time. The derivative of v is 1 dv dt, or we can just write dv dt, is equal to the only variable we have on the right hand side is this variable r, so we're going to take the derivative of r cubed with respect to time. Let's pull that 3 down and multiply it by this 4 thirds. That will cancel out the 3, so therefore we have 4 pi r squared, don't forget to subtract 1, and then let's tack on our dr dt since we are differentiating with respect to time. Now our question is asking us to find the rate at which the radius is changing. We are trying to find dr dt. This is what we're looking for. In order to find dr dt, we need to know what the radius is and we need to know what dv dt is. dv dt is 4 cubic inches per second. That's the air that's filling up this balloon. And notice we have cubic inches. Cubic inches or cubic anything is a volume. Therefore, dv dt is 4 cubic inches per second. Now we also need the radius, and since we know the diameter at some point is 15 inches, let's take the diameter and divide it by 2. Therefore, our radius is going to be 7.5 inches. Now let's be very careful with this problem. We have the rate of change of volume in cubic inches per second, but we want to find the rate of change of the radius in inches per minute. We'll come back and address that towards the end of the problem. Let's plug in our information. We have 4 cubic inches per second is equal to 4 pi times our radius squared, 7.5 inches squared, times dr dt. Now I don't want to round anything yet. I want to round my final answer. So what we can do here, since we're trying to find dr dt, and since these things are getting multiplied by dr dt, we can divide by all of this stuff on both sides to get dr dt by itself. That will cancel out the 4 pi times 7.5 inches squared over here on the right hand side. And when we divide the left hand side, we get this decimal right here. Now again, I would probably not round here. I want to round my final answer. And technically we're not quite done yet. Let me explain why. We have cubic inches per second up top. And down here we got square inches. Well, cubic inches and square inches, they will cancel out leaving you with just an inch up here but it's going to be per second. We want per minute, so let's be very careful there. So notice I have the exact same answer written right here. 4 over 4 pi times 7.5 squared inches per second. This is dr dt. Now to convert this to inches per minute, we need to do a little bit of dimensional analysis. So notice I have inches over seconds, and to convert these seconds to minutes, we can multiply by 60 seconds over one minute. And what this will do, the dimensional analysis will get rid of the seconds, and now we will be left with inches per minute. So in all honesty, all we're really doing here is just multiplying that answer we got before, multiplying it by 60. This will be our answer. And notice I haven't rounded anything in my calculation. Now we're finally ready to round. So therefore, dr dt is approximately 0.3 inches per minute. Those are the only words that we have left in this problem. Therefore, if air is filling up a balloon, a spherical balloon, at a rate of 4 cubic inches per minute, when the diameter of the balloon is 15 inches across, the radius is changing at a rate of 0.3 inches per minute. And that's exactly what we want to answer here. And we did round to the nearest tenth. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Links to our social media are in the description below.